Hello and welcome to another tutorial brought to you by Imstech on Cinema 4D and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to create something similar to this. So let's start this again. You can see this ball is kind of moving. Um, I don't like the way it's drastically moving but we can change that and we can also change the shadows and textures to make this a lot better but that's generally what I'm going for. Okay, This attraction um, thing. So um, let's get started. First of all, I created a flow and I created some lights and I gave the flow a rigid body tag. And okay, so the first thing we need to do is create a sphere. Um, I've got my sphere right now and you can have it at the top, you can have it at the bottom. Is it entirely up to you? Gonna add some material. The way I get my material is press load material, uh, prime materials, um, basics, and then you've got different glass. Uh, let's try glass 2 see what that looks like so uh, yeah I'm just gonna put glass 2 in this time just gonna show you guys what this looks like mm, okay fair enough let's just not get too picky you can always change things at the end but anyway um, yeah and the next thing I'm gonna do is create another sphere and this sphere is going to be higher up and I'm just gonna uh, decrease it in size by a lot and then I'm just gonna give it a material as well and the way I got this material um, was shader and new key and I made the material red. I've shown you guys how to do that in the past. So at the moment I've got a ball at the top and a ball at the bottom. Now, I'm going to use the cloner object. So the way I get to this is more graph and cloner. Now I, what I need to do is make the sphere at the top a child of the cloner. So I get the sphere, sphere one, which was the second one I created, the red one. I'm going to drag it over the cloner and I'm going to just let go. Okay. So now you can see at the bottom right here, there's three spheres. Um, and that's okay at the moment, but let's change its positioning. So I'm going to make it higher. And then I'm going to go into the cloner objects, the properties, and at the moment it's on linear, so they're stacked one on top of the other. There's also an option to do a radial and a grid. Um, I prefer the grid, most people do. You can change the properties, so if you want loads more, um, you can have a few. Um, I'm going to stick with 333. Um, that's fine with me at the moment. And now what I'm going to do is add a graphics tag, sorry, a rigid body tag. Now what I need to do, some um, it, depending on what version you're using, if you're using Cinema 11.5, uh, Cinema 4D 11.5, you'll have to add this tag to the cloner. And the way you guys would do that is right click and press more graph tags and there'll be rigid body here. But obviously this is a different version, 12. Um, so what I'm going to have to do is add my tag to the sphere. And the way I do it is, or the way we do it is simulation dynamics and add rigid body. But... Yep, so I'm going to add my rigid body. Um, before I forget, I'm just going to add uh, a tag to the sphere. And just be mindful that on this occasion, I'm going to add a create collider. Now the difference you'll see in a second. So they both have got physics tags attached to them. I'm going to press play. And the difference was that the collider tag will create an object which has all the physics element apart from weight. It'll just be stay, it'll stay floating stuck in one spot, um, which is fine. The rigid body tag will obviously have weight behind it. So you saw them balls drop, but the, obviously the ball at the bottom did not drop. So that's fine. And, some, and what I like to do is add the collider tag to the floor as well, because I don't want the floor to drop as well. Um, but yeah, that's fine. So this is okay at the moment. Now what I need to do is um, add a... Um, attractor so I click here and then you can see there's different ones um, emitter blah 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 we we'll go through some of them in the next tutorials but um, at the moment I'm going to focus on attractor and what what's important to understand is that the attractor we need to make sure that the attractor is in the middle of whatever object we go in it but just so happens that because obviously I never moved my sphere initially it's actually put it bang in the middle Okay, so I don't really need to move my attractor and this is not a necessary step But what I like to do is I like to put my attractor inside the sphere and um, so as a child of the sphere So click and drag it inside and the reason I do that is if I later decide that I want to move my sphere The attractor object stays stuck firm with the sphere because it obviously inherits every um, Attribute so that's fine. So I just like to do that um, so yeah, let's go and play this one more time and it's not perfect yet and you're thinking why is it? has it not attracted reason is the attractor does not have much strength at the moment 
and I think it's somewhat depending on how big your objects are and whatever you can do 10,000, 15,000 or even 20,000 um, or even more um, so I'm just gonna see how this works out so you can see it started to do whatever it's doing and you know it's wobbling around so you can see um, colors are not good at all so I'm just gonna try and change these colors uh, let's see what this looks like with this um, this color little bit better not perfect anyway whatever um but yeah that's most of the uh tutorial complete um you can you might be happy with this um obviously there's things you, we can change um like the size of the uh uh what's it called the big sphere and it obviously if it's a smaller sphere then it the balls that, that are attached to it or attracted to it will respond differently and they'll be going over it and so on rather than just circulating the bottom so you guys can experiment with that um, just really quickly just show you what uh, can happen so you can see it's giving me more of a, a motion um, so in the example I showed you guys that um, we can have this thing wobbling around and the way I do that is I press uh, on the big sphere and I've got to press right click Cinema 4D tags and then press this uh, vibrate so over here this one right here exactly where my mouse is mouse is that's the vibrator uh, vibrate tag rather and what I can do at this point is um, just check this button right here so you can see there's movement happening and then there's scale and then there's also rotation that we can play with I don't like to mess around with the scale um, because it just blows up like crazy you can obviously drop the the numbers um, to a different number and have them like you know um, 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.5 and you can obviously experiment with that as and when you want you can also animate this the way I showed you guys and also just want to show you guys another um, thing that I did was I attached text so I pressed more graph text and then you can change the text to I'm just gonna put one in just for the sake of um, it being there and I'm gonna just drop this uh, lower. I'm just gonna pause this thing in the middle. Start it at the beginning again. Um, you can put this inside, and then just drop this inside the big sphere as a child. So as this plays and moves, the one is also gonna be moving. So if you can see, um, not looking pretty because obviously I'm not attached to any uh, tech what's it called material to the one. But you guys can also experiment with that stuff. So I'll leave that to you. Um, this looks pretty hideous actually being pretty fussy today um, I'm just gonna see what this looks like I'm just gonna play this and render this this looks a little bit better but anyway um, you guys can experiment with this and you can see what's actually happening there's quite a cool effect you can move the camera motion and so on so make sure you guys comment rate and subscribe and I'll be sure to show you guys a few more techniques, tips and tricks in the next tutorial, so stay tuned.